And in a world with no shortage of terror and strife, it's more important than ever that we show our nation's true colors as peacemakers and peace builders. We're at the end of 2015. It's also nearly the end of my first year here at U.S. Institute of Peace. Our mission has never been more urgent. USIP is an organization that is of the government, supported by the Congress, but it is not part of the, any administration. So that allows us to pull together a wide range of people to focus on reducing violent conflict around the world. We have hosted six heads of state here at the Institute of Peace. We have programs on the ground in 22 countries around the world. The USIP intervention uh, in the aftermath of the Spiker Massacre uh, built trust to facilitate the return of displaced families to the city of Tikrit. In Myanmar, we went through a series of dialogue sessions where we brought together senior police as well as political party leaders in the opposition. There was a process of increased communication that resulted in the development of protocols to help prevent election violence. The U.S. Institute of Peace created the Peace Day Challenge in the lead up to the International Day of Peace on September 21st. In the end, the Peace Day Challenge inspired activities in more than 20 states and 30 countries around the world and reached over 20 million people on social media. Generation Change is a fellowship program for emerging leaders engaged in critical tasks that reduce violence in societies. This year, they have trained more than 5,000 people in their communities using our Generation Change curriculum. So we've been able to forge really strong uh, connections with brilliant tech leaders. One Iraqi organization used the tools learned at a peace tech exchange to gather data on undiagnosed diseases in the Karatu IDP camp. USIP's Africa program provided grants to support African universities that are seeking to strengthen their graduate programs in peace building and conflict resolution. 2016 will be a big year for us. We will deepen our focus on countering violent extremism, expanding partnerships, working with youth in conflict. We intend to expand the online courses that we're using, bringing people from conflict zones all around the world into USIP. We plan to deepen our community of practice by conducting a training of trainers for our past participants from the Middle East and North Africa. Next year is all about data for us. The idea is to actually put tools into the hands of local peace builders to collect, analyze, visualize, and publish the data that's most uh, relevant to them. What we hope is that there will be cross-country or cross-regional cooperation and collaboration. We are expanding our outreach to young people through the promotion of our Peace Club Starter Kit. We will continue to develop new professional development resources for educators. We're going to work to brainstorm solutions to the Boko Haram problem and other pressing problems in northern Nigeria. We really see a great opportunity in tapping into Iraqi resources to have Iraqi-led dialogue and lay the foundation uh, for a better future for the country. It will be application of what we know for building inclusive peace processes and increasing justice and security. These will be critical to our fundamental mission of realizing a world without violent conflict.